Hey guys, it's Sophia. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a vintage clothing haul. Now, I know I said I was gonna stop spending my money, but the vintage store I go to was having a sale and they were doing a fill a bag sale. Now that just means you pay one price and then you get a medium sized bag and you can put as many vintage clothing items, whatever you want in it. And I actually got to. So when I go vintage shopping, I have a tendency to buy dresses and more dresses and more dresses and some suits. So um, I'm proud of myself that I didn't buy any dresses this time and bought different vintage clothes that I really don't have in my collection or a lot in my collection. So that's what this consists of. So with everything going on in the world, you weren't able to try any of these things on. So I was so lucky when I came home and tried these on and they all fit. That has never happened. Like even when I get to try, you know, especially vintage clothes on, it takes me like, I go through a bunch of things and I'm like, oh, I love this, but I can't get it because it doesn't fit. This was just completely hope it fits, put it in a bag, take it home and try it on and everything fits. I have never had this much luck with sizing and fitting with vintage clothes. So I guess it was all meant to be. So enough of me rambling. Let's take a look at what I got. All right, so I'll just start with like the least exciting thing. So they had a bunch of like stockings and pantyhose. I realized after I got this one that it's not my size. Not that I even would wear it, but just to have it in my collection. But I did get these Hanes Silk Reflections Silky Designs. And these are pearl number 731 silky stars so they're just these like white stockings and they have little star embroideries on it i thought it was cute so this is a size cd so even if i did want to wear them i couldn't because i'm way too short so but they're pretty cool so now they're just in my collection okay so for the first clothing item i got this adorable little pink nightgown night dress whatever you want to call it and it is so stinking cute and the reason why i bought this was mainly because on the collar it just has these little adorable stitched flowers which i think are so cute i've been trying to figure out because the annoying thing about this sale is that how they're they don't usually have like the information about the items so i'm kind of like guessing and trying to research um you know decades or what it is and all that stuff i could be completely wrong but I'm gonna take a guess that this is from either the 50s or 60s. I think this is adorable. I just cannot get over the collar and the little stitching. So that's the first thing I got. So the next thing I got, I wasn't initially gonna get, but I was with my friend and she was like, you should get this because it looks like a lot of fun. So it is this red, I wanna say it's a house coat. 99.9% .9 sure it's a house coat. So we're gonna call it a house coat. So I got this nice red house coat. I don't know what year it could be from. Like I said, it doesn't have the tags with the information on it, which is annoying, but it is fun. And all the buttons have these little anchors on it. And yeah, something different. I said I was gonna buy things different. And this is definitely one of them. All right, so the next item I got, I am very excited about, and it is this beige wool skirt. It is so cute and it has original tags on it. Um, and it is from the brand Peerless Sportswear Boston. And I am obsessed with this. So I've been trying to do some research on to what year this might be. I'm still in the process of it, so I don't want to make a guess and then be completely off and look stupid. And the next thing I got is another skirt. I know, making a lot of progress here. And this is a beautiful dark brown skirt um i this has no tags in it so i can't figure it out but once again i'm gonna say this is probably mid-century again and i'm just obsessed with it all right so the next item i'm really excited about because i don't have many vintage pants and these ones are a lot of fun so this one also has an original tag and these are these beautiful hot pink pants that I am absolutely in love with. This also has an original tag from Alfred Dunner. I was looking these up. They could be from like the late 70s, 80s and they fit. Now I am, once again, pants with me, even regular pants. It's so hard for me to find pants because I am five foot, I'm teeny tiny. These, they're a little bit long, but with heels, 
they are the perfect length and me coming across something like that I, like i was so shocked when i put these on so i am absolutely in love with these they're so fun and probably one of my new favorite things in my collection all right and the last thing i got is this beautiful suede suit and it has a jacket and a skirt so this is the jacket and then where is it this is the this is backwards and this is the matching skirt now it was a little difficult looking this up because i typed in like you know in the coat it says charlie chang so i was just trying to look up charlie chang but apparently i had to type in charlie chang um hong kong hilton to get the results that i wanted to and the information i wanted to so apparently in the 60s charlie chang was a very popular uh tailor in hong kong and these are some of his suits so once again this fits perfect how does this fit perfect i have no idea but i am obsessed with it all right so that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it i am absolutely obsessed with all these new pieces and i cannot wait to add them to my collection even though now i have to find more room and space for them where that space is i have no idea but i'll figure it out one way or another and be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you next time bye Thank you.